Hi, we have already seen the most relevant aspects of types of companies and freelancers. Now we will focus on some specific elements of the profession in Spain. A freelance translator is defined as any established professional with a dedication to text translation of more than the 25% and without any employees but with the capacity to provide freelance services to both direct clients and translation companies or agencies. The legal requirements to become a freelance translator in Spain are basically three. First, tax agency registration, second, social security registration, and third, tax payment, that is IRPF, IVA, and social security contributions. In order to break through the market, it is recommended to register on online platforms for finding work and social networks such as LinkedIn or specific translation portals such as Pros, Translators Cafe or Go Translators. It is also recommended to belong to a translator's association, as you can see in Unit 4. Regarding translation companies, as you can see in this slide, they are all those entities whose translation activity is carried out with several related persons. They have employees, whether the company acts as administratively as a natural person or as a legal person. The most common types of translation companies are public limited societies, private limited societies, and cooperative societies. When creating a company, the process consists of a series of essential steps. First, a solid business plan, next, the registration process, and then the legal forms and last, tax obligations. I hope you enjoyed this unit. You can complete this introduction with the materials available in the platform. See you in the next video.